Hey, what's up everybody? Um, so as you know, I am, I'm getting the Mercedes AMG One, which I'm super, super excited about. But unfortunately, there's still some quite big delays. So in the meantime, I've decided that uh, I'm gonna buy another hypercar for a couple of years until the AMG One is ready. I have a preference, but I haven't decided which one yet. And so the purpose of this video, I really wanna hear your opinion as well. And I'm gonna give you um, a list of top four and I've written down some notes here because there's so many different points <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a list of top four but please feel free as well to just jot down in the comments whatever your absolute preference would be even if it's not in my top four and here we go so first one we're gonna cover the Ferrari SF90 Stradale the amazing thing about this so fully hybrid and 1000 horsepower which makes it the most powerful Ferrari of all time so of course that's pretty awesome um, 0 to 100 in 2.5, which, uh, which is very, very fast. But considering it's hybrid, it's not really the top, top performance. There is some, some performing better than that. Uh, downforce about 400 kilograms, which is still only half of the McLaren. Huh? If you think about the McLaren having 800 kilograms of downforce, and I drove it around that race track, it is absolutely insane. And that's the sort of downforce levels on the McLaren Senna, where you start getting into this race car characteristics of feeling like when you're driving. So that was very impressive. So having half of that downforce is still going to be some way off. And anyways, you got like 26 kilometers of hybrid. Uh, price tag 1 million at the moment is to be expected. Um, so I think that's, that's a quite exciting car. Maybe the looks, don't know, not quite as spectacular maybe in terms of looks as I would wish to, because like LaFerrari, like for me, is one of the greatest cars of all time. And the looks are just uh, phenomenal in that car. So not 100% on the looks, but anyways. So that was the first one. Again, give me a thumbs up on this video if you think that's an awesome car and uh, if you think I should go for that one. Uh, still remains to be seen, by the way, if I'll be able to get one, but uh, on some of these, because they're ultra limited. Second option, Aston Martin, the Valhalla, which I didn't even know that this name was out. It was like 003 until now, but Valhalla. Um, I really love this. This is proper cool because it's so damn cutting edge visually and it's like aerodynamic ultimate performance. It doesn't say the downforce levels, but I'm quite sure it has more downforce than the McLaren Senna. So it'll have more than 800 kilograms of downforce. Because, I mean, as you, knew, as you know, Adrian Newey was involved in the design of the Valkyrie and certainly also to some extent on the Valhalla. And, uh, and so, yeah, the aerodynamics are just, it's a beast. It's an absolute beast. So I really, really like it. Limited to 800, limited to 500 cars. Uh, acceleration again, same thing as the Ferrari 2.5, which is not the ultimate thing. I really like again that it's hybrid. A small turbo V6 engine, which is very, very similar to the Formula One powertrain, um, like in terms of packing, in terms of putting it together. So that's quite cool. Um, very lightweight as well, 1,350 kilograms compared to the Ferrari being at being 1,600 kilograms. So that's quite cool as well. That's uh, that's really, really good for performance to have to have so much less weight. Uh, again, same price as the Ferrari, so around 1.1 million or something. Very similar price, and so cool. It's going to be the next James Bond car movie. Uh, which is amazing. I mean, imagine James Bond driving in that thing. <laughs> it's gonna be an absolute beast and uh, exciting to, to watch that movie then. So I really, really like the Valhalla. Uh, really, really think that's awesome. So now we move on. Third one, Remac C2. So for me, I don't know, I have a really uh, special connection in a way to Remac because just because of Mate Remac. So I've met him a couple of times now. I've done a podcast actually on this YouTube channel as well with him. And I just, uh, I mean, I just love the passion and the engineering excellence that he has. It's phenomenal, the guy. I mean, unbelievable. And in my podcast, the title was Europe's Elon Musk. And that's not over, overstating it because he is very, very close. I mean, he is certainly Europe's Elon Musk if you want to compare in any way in terms of his capabilities and his expertise. And I just, I find it so cool because as you know, um, um, Remac is now like the leading battery supplier, battery system supplier for all high performance cars. Everybody who's doing hybrid. So I think he's gonna be in the Aston Martin Valhalla. He's in the next car, which is the Koenigsegg Regera as well. He's in the Pininfarina. Everywhere where you see high performance hybrid powertrains and fully electric powertrains, it's mostly done by Remac, which is amazing how he's positioned himself there. And then doing his own car as well is ultra cool. And I met him in Geneva and I took a good look at the car. Uh, limited to 150, well, 100 to 150 cars, and everything is done in house. Even the whole like 
the whole systems inside, interactive displays, everything, the way the driver goes about it. So much is done in-house. And I think it's just a phenomenal story because the guy started in his garage uh, from nothing, just rebuilding a BMW car, making it fully electric. Please, have, check this out. 1,900 horsepower. Say what? 1,915 horsepower. That is absolutely mental. I mean, those numbers we've never ever seen before. So, zero to 100. Another video I did on this car, actually, on my YouTube channel, I, uh, I confirmed this zero to 100 performance. 1.9 seconds. This is absolutely incredible. And that's gearless, so there's no gears. 1.9 seconds. So he had to invent something on the engine to enable this incredible performance right through the range without any gears. So one more time, 1.9 seconds, zero to 100, zero to 60 miles an hour if you want it that way. And that's, I mean, even for me as an F1 driver, my F1 car used to do 2.6 seconds. So it's gonna be like a rocket ship, like it's gonna throw your stomach out the back, I think. So I'm really, really loving that. Top speed over 400 kilometers an hour, absolutely insane. Um, quite good reach as well, so they're expecting like a reach of 450 kilometers. So if you're pushing, maybe like 300, 400 kilometers. So that's really, really cool. Um, so I'm a big fan. A bit heavy, 1,950 kilograms. So in cornering, I think there's going to be a little, some few downsides there. Also aerodynamically, a few downsides, I'm sure, because of all the ba battery packaging requirements underneath. That limits the aerodynamics that you can do underneath the car as well. Um, so aerodynamically weight, that's a little bit of downsides there but definitely I really, really love it, love this car, and I'm looking forward to visiting the headquarters very, very soon. Uh, Mate Remac invited me, and I'll definitely take that up, and I'll take you along on that video. So more Remac videos coming. Uh, so again, if you like that car, give me a thumbs up to this video, and comment below what your thoughts are. And the final one, here we go. This is the fourth one. I'm gonna go for the Koenigsegg Regera. So I'll be honest with you, I was never a fan of Koenigsegg at all, and I really didn't have them on my radar until I went to Geneva this year, and I had the huge honor of meeting Christian von Koenigsegg at his stand, and he showed me the Koenigsegg Regera limited edition, one out of eight, um, because it had this ultra low uh, weight paint job. In fact, no paint job, it was pure carbon. You can check out that video as well on my YouTube. And really, that's when I was so amazed passion that that guy has and that explains it all that's why the company is successful the passion he has for his engineering for his cars unreal and then what showed me that most was this button on the on the on the car uh, key which just literally in the space of 10 seconds opens up the whole car like he doesn't want to hide anything quite on the contrary he wants to show you every single detail because every single screw on that car to so the smallest detail is made to the most beautiful per perfection I think anyone, any of us will ever see. So this whole car opens up, every coil spring, everything, every roll bar, the most stunning precision I've ever seen in a road car, I think. So now I'm a massive fan of Koenigsegg and that's why he's on the list with the Koenigsegg Regera. As you know, also I love the hybrid component because I love the electric power. Um, again, this is an unbelievably performance-oriented car. 1,822 horsepower, huge, second only to the Remac. Twin turbocharged V8 engine, five liter with the hybrid, hybrid motors, then three electric motors. Um, so uh, that, of course, for, for start performance, again, is just absolutely awesome. I just noticed all of them are hybrid on my list. Very, very good. Maybe that's not a coincidence. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Koenigsegg Regera with all the motors together, then, as I said, 1,822 horsepower. Let's go into the top speed. Again, this one also, just like the Remac, goes over 400 kilometers an hour. Zero to 100 in 2.8. I think certainly it will be able to do better than that, so I doubt those numbers. I think 2.5 is definitely realistic on this car. But all of them are miles away from the Remac. Huh? The Remac is so far ahead on, on performance, in start performance. Like, we, we assume that all of them are around 2.5, including the Regera, but the Remac, my goodness. The Regera will then catch up from uh, on 0 to 100, it will catch up and it gets quicker and quicker, but still the Remac is going to be difficult to, to beat. Um, weight I don't have now, so I'm not sure about that, but certainly will be a good performance. Price-wise, of course, the Remac and the Koenigsegg Regera are on the much higher end because they're all close to 2 million, which is, uh, of course, that's uh, a big sum, huge sum, of course. So uh, that's going to be part of the consideration. So again, if you're a Koenigsegg fan, please thumbs up. Give me a comment below what you think, Koenigsegg Regera. Um, I'm not sure how, how long the production run is going to go yet, so it might be one of the last ones. 
if uh, I would choose for that one. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my English channel here and I'll come up with the final result what I've gone for in subsequent videos. I'm definitely going to read all your comments and I'm going to interact and let you know my comments on, on specific things. So please comment below. See you all soon uh, for the next one. Bye bye. Hey Nico, I need the Bugatti keys.